The Olympics are known for their prestigious games to exhibit the physical prowess of athletes from everywhere in the world as we know it. And the marathon is seen as one of the hardest events. But the men's Olympic marathon of 1904 was the worst marathon in history. For those of you who don't know, a marathon is a race that's about 26.2 miles or 42.2 kilometers. But by 1904, the marathon distance wasn't official, so the distance each athlete needed to run in this race was 24.95 miles or about 40 kilometers. Something pretty interesting was that two of the athletes in this marathon were the first two black Africans to compete in the Olympics. Len Tao and Jan Mashiani were Tswana tribesmen. Some say that they ran the marathon barefoot. Even though Mashiani was wearing shoes in the photos taken before the race, but someone running the marathon barefoot barely scratches the surface of all the crazy things that happened in this marathon. This was the third time that the marathon event appeared in the Olympics. It was still very new, and mistakes were expected. But you'd think by the third try and eight Boston marathons already occurring, the marathon event organizers would at least have some idea of what not to do. The Summer Olympics were held in St. Louis, Missouri, USA, so the weather was hot and humid. Most marathons today start early in the morning to take advantage of cold temperatures, but this marathon was set to start at 3 p.m. So when the race started, it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius. On top of the heat, the chief organizer of the Olympics was supposedly conducting research on purposeful dehydration. So there was only two stations to get water: a water tower at mile six and a well at mile twelve. The course was also mostly on dusty country roads that eventually ended back in the stadium. Vehicles with race officials cruised behind and in front of the racers, so there were giant dust clouds that runners would inhale. Many racers had to drop out because they were suffering from dust inhalation. Like William Garcia, who was found lying in the road with severe internal injuries, the dust had coated his esophagus and ripped his stomach lining. Luckily, he survived. Another guy just threw up and gave up, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Len Tao, who was the supposed barefoot runner, was chased a mile off course by a pack of wild dogs, but still managed to finish ninth place. Andarin Carvajal was a Cuban mailman and long-distance runner. He gambled all his money away in New Orleans and had to hitchhike and walk to the race. Carvajal showed up in street clothes and heavy shoes. He ended up cutting his pants into makeshift shorts. Makeshift shorts. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> he was making pretty good time, even though he stopped to chat with spectators. And one website said that Carvajal even stopped to kiss every, <laughs> every female spectator he saw. <laughs> he also reportedly playfully snatched two peaches from a car since he hadn't eaten anything in 40 hours. Later on, Carvajal stopped by a nearby apple orchard to eat, but the apples he ate were rotten, so he just lied down and took a nap to sleep off the cramps. When he woke up, he re-entered the race and got fourth place. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the first man. To cross the finish line was Frederick Lawrence. He got his picture taken with the president's daughter, Alice Roosevelt, and right before he got the gold medal placed around his neck, he was revealed to actually have cheated. At 11 miles, he was stricken with cramps, so he just hitched a ride in one of the cars back to the stadium, waving at runners and specter- spectators like he was <laughs> like he was a celebrity. <laughs> And he just started running again at the 19th mile after the car broke down. To avoid punishment, he just said it was a joke, or maybe it really was a joke. I don't know. He was a weird dude. And of course, this leads to my favorite racer, Thomas Hicks. He just has the craziest story. He was an American long-distance runner and professional clown. His trainers helped hold him up on the roads and physically restrained Hicks from lying down. He begged them for water, but they gave him brandy and egg whites mixed together with serin, strin, strin, strinch nine, 
sure, a common rat poison to stimulate him. And stimulate it did, because the dehydration and rat poison caused him to hallucinate. He could barely walk, and his trainers used sponges and water on his body, but wouldn't give him any water to drink. They carried Hicks over the finish line, while he shuffled his feet like he was still running. (laughs) Hicks lost eight pounds during the entire course (laughs) of the marathon, and was treated immediately in the stadium. But crazy enough, Hicks was the winner of the marathon with a time of 3 hours, 28 minutes, and 53 seconds. By far the worst time in Olympic history. Hicks was tripping over the finish line in more than one way, and he still won. (laughs) I don't know, moral of the story is don't run marathons in the 1900s. Thanks for (laughs) watching my video about... uh, the Olympic marathon of 1904. It was so fun to research. I was like giggling the whole time. (laughs) I couldn't get through the script without laughing. It took so many takes. (laughs) Anyway, I hope you learned something interesting and um, keep it crispy.